Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Another 7 Days to Die video. We're on day 2 of the Mall of the Dead Survival. Now I am recording this before the first video even goes live because, well that's just how I like to try and do things. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed the video. I'm really hoping that it hit like, you know, a million views, got like 10,000 uh, likes on it, brought in a whole truckload of new subscribers, you know, all that wonderful stuff. If not, then maybe um, y'all need to go back and watch it again so we can get it there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, I hope the video did do well, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hear some people making some noise over there. We didn't do anything last night. We're just kind of chilling in this general area. We don't have the, uh, the stuff that we need to be able to fight a running horde of zombies in the middle of the night. So we didn't even bother. Whoops. Take that. Water is always nice to have early on, even if it will give me the chance to go ahead and poop myself absolutely to death dog food yeah i'll take it while i get it i know there's a bunch of stuff i can take apart here i'm just kind of looting the big stuff first can't loot the car unfortunately now one of the things that i forgot what well, not really forgot but one of those things that i noticed let me check out here real quick make sure nobody's trying to peek in around the corner we good okay y'all are all chill over there we got our chest right over here is that we do have a I think is it over here no there's a different forge somewhere but one of the things I forgot is that we don't have a we don't have a cement mixer because this one's destroyed and I forgot to this little fuse box this is just for like um, aesthetics it doesn't actually do anything for anybody who was generally curious in case I didn't get it in the last video We're like oh why didn't you check out that little fuse box eh I didn't have a chance to so one of the things that's gonna suck is that we don't have a, a, a cement mixer for all of this concrete and cobblestone laying around here it's gonna be great to get but we don't have a cement mixer so I want to finish looting this little spot first drop some stuff off in these chests that we're not going to take with this sounds like I woke up the horde here what is going on why can't I there we go sometimes just getting the right angle is a little bit of a challenge but it sounds like they're all awake out there so we're gonna search this little area first Oh, leather poncho, I'll go ahead and wear that. That helps with uh, thermal regulation, your temperature regulation. And uh, then we're going to continue on here. I don't know exactly which floor I want to try and make my home at yet. Um, obviously, the higher up would help out for anything roaming in in the middle of the night from outside. But to be able to clear everything out upstairs is definitely going to take a little bit of time. So I think we got everything from over here that we're going to get. Now, again, I know that there's stuff like this that eventually I have a forge I can drop in there and let it do its thing. But we need to get over here and drop some stuff off because we're like super duper encumbered right at the moment. So if we can get to floor two... Oh, we still got to search the barista over here. Okay, so there's a bunch of noise over there, but it may be from zombies outside. I don't know. So let's drop off some stuff that we're not going to need with this right at the moment. Okay, good to go. Uh, we still got a little ways to go before we get to the next level. Did I search this trash can? I did not. Uh, we got some of those over here. Go ahead and stack them up. Just keep them going. Now, I hang on real quick. I don't think I have the necessary stuff to be able to make a storage pocket mod. I need leather, duct tape, these, and cloth fra fragments. Getting leather I can get from the rest of those. Duct tape I haven't found, but I do have some glue here. But I don't have any bones or anything like that to be able to make more glue. So right at the moment, we're kind of going to be... Uh, hard pressed to be able to make any kind of storage pocket mods. Now I'm going to get mostly food from this general area so I don't know how much I want to search this. Hey look, freaking duct tape. I was just, <laughs> I'm glad I actually went ahead and did what I said I wasn't going to do. I'm not going to take the jars. I don't know how well we're going to need to be able to uh, worry about respawning of loot because you know the default on loot respawns is 30 days. So we got a long, long damn ways to go before we're going to get to a spot where we're like, oh, we need to worry about loot respawning. 30 days is a long time. I mean, in our Lone Survivor series, we're in the 30s now, but we've been playing that for a good little while, too. I'm going to go ahead and take all this crap. Nothing back there. Make sure I didn't miss anything obvious, like the trash land on the floor. A shamich. Ah, I can grab that kind of stuff later. Ooh, see, this kind of stuff I think you can get leather from. Yeah. So I don't want to have to put any perk points into um, uh, whatever, a pack mule if I don't have to, because I'd love to be able to use those in other things. All right, so we got a couple more down here. We're going to get these. All right, let's head back over to our tiny little chest. This is just a temporary again. All right, so let's see. We're going to need these. We're going to need the duct tape. All right, so let's see real quick. Cloth fragments. We need a lot more cloth fragments, so that's where we are. So I'm going to put these right here for the moment. Let's see. We need duct tape. 
Okay, so that's that's what we need right at the moment. We need a bunch more of cloth fragments. I don't think there's any furniture up in here that we could take apart of super obvious stuff. I know if we find anything that we can scrap. Hang on, let me drop a couple more things off in here. I really don't want to get into this spot completely over encumbered. So I'm taking a little bit of food with me. All right, let's do it. We got to clear out these idiots over here. Maybe we can. I don't have any arrows at all. That's unfortunate too. Nope. Uh, nails we can scrap down. Uh, I don't think we can do all of these at the same time. If there's a single runner over there, we are going to be boned. Somebody's going to try and figure out how to get in from the outside. Don't move. Don't wake up your buddies. Okay, we got one down. Now, if we can kill them all all sneaky peat like that, then we'll have this bottom level. I'm not going to say we've had the bottom level cleared out because we definitely don't. I think about putting my next skill perk into... The, oh, you just got punched. <laughs> into a spear, just because it would help be able to make a stronger spear. I can throw them a little bit faster, do a little bit more damage. And right at the moment, it's my uh, go-to weapon here for a little bit of range. Uh-oh. Ow. Because we haven't been able to find any arrows to make any kind of arrow... Uh, or feathers to make arrows, sorry. I'm trying to talk while stabbing dude in the face here. Uh-oh, we're out of stamina. All right, you just got to hold up for a second. We got to let our stamina regen here. Okay, there we go. A little bit more XP. We need to level up a few more times. You just took it right in the eye. Clack. All right, two more to go here. Let's see. If we can't sneak up and get a little ding-dong knocker in the back of the head here, that would just be great. And I know that kind of sounds dirty, but it sounds funny too. Ding. Ow. Ow. Look what you did. Great. Now I got to use a bandage. I mean, I may have done that a little bit, but still, you're the one that hit me. So, see if we can time this. This sledgehammer timing is hard to do. There we go. Dunk. Clack, and she went down. Uh-oh. Uh -uh. And you just got beat with a pink club as well. I don't know if you can get any of the yucca stuff from these plants or not, but I don't need it right at the moment. See if there's anything in this garbage. Nothing. Alright, we do need to go ahead and eat a little bit of this food that we have here. Start getting some of our max stamina topped off here. Get some of our max health to go back up. Uh, hang on. Before I wander off too far, because I don't want to get into it. Alright, we gotta... I don't... Hey, stop messing with them all. Ooh, we got a wolf over there. Oh, I can search the school bus through the wall here. Okay, so here's the thought process to go along with this series. Now that I'm inside the mall, I can't leave the mall, obviously. But here's the thought. I can reach these buildings. I can reach these. I'm not going to do it through the wall because that may seem slightly uh, cheap or whatever. But if I get to a spot where I can actually reach the uh, vehicles outside... Do you guys think, hey, by the way, Cap, that's fully cheating if you decide to try and reach something outside. You're not supposed to be able to go out there. And I know most people are going to say, like, oh, just do whatever you want to. We don't necessarily care. I know you don't care, but I care. And that's why I'm asking. Uh, crack a book. We need to get in there. Oh, hey. Okay. We have the fan. Oh, my Lord. Okay. We have some, we have some friends over here. Hang on. If we don't uh, if we don't do this now, we're gonna end up regretting it later on. Let me see. If we get these. We're gonna need to do. Some, let me see a quick bandage. Are y'all out? Not yet. Okay. We're gonna put it down here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Get some of the life back up. Okay. None of y'all run at me or anything, please. All right. We're okay on food. Got two more things of that. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and eat these pears takes the health up just a little bit it'll get it regenerating a little bit and it'll keep the max stamina up all right so we got we got us we got a small grouping of people over here some big people and some of them can set us on fire so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge here all right you but if we can get inside that crack book maybe we can find some good books maybe we can learn to make some things or at least unlock some uh, perk abilities that would help us out like you know Beating a zombie in the head with a pink club does triple damage or something like that, you know. Something beneficial. No, don't hit me. Okay, so they don't have near as much health as old uh, Mo over there. 
Jared, you need to sit down. Whoops, missed that one. Don't run at me. Don't run at me. Oh, hell. That power attack missed entirely. You don't run at me either. Oh, by the way, in case I've, I did completely forget to mention it, and I want to make sure I cover that. Oh, we got these light posts up here that would be good for steel, too. If anybody's asking, hey, Cat, what happened to Lone Survivor? I promise you it's still here. So here's the deal. I am currently starting this new series. When you start a new series on... Oh, there ain't no way we're going to... When you start a new series on YouTube, you do a quick video, and then you don't upload another one for a little bit, you lose some of that initial audience that stopped by real quick. So for this being a brand new series, I wanted to get both videos up right away so that I would have a chance to, you know, show it off to everybody who showed up to the channel specifically for the new series. And so that's why Lone Survivor will return in its normalcy next week. You don't have to worry about that. We're going to go back to alternating, as I originally said. So, you know, don't worry your pretty little heads entirely. But I wanted to get two videos up in a row for everybody who is like, oh, man, I really love the new series and I can't wait to watch some more of it. I don't want to have to wait till the next week for you to see episode two because this video, the first video went up on a Wednesday. If you had to wait until the next Monday, that's a little bit, a little bit of a time uh, span right there for between videos. Would you freaking die already? Right, if y'all bust a hole in that wall over there, and then I can start stabbing you in the faces. Make sure nobody behind me. There we go. All right. So we got one, two. I'm trying not to run into those spikes here. We got a decent number of books in here for sure we need to get. It doesn't look like there's a lot of more zombies in there. So if we can get inside. I don't want to ruin these spikes, but, you know, I need to get inside. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? You freaking snuck up on me didn't you and he is down all right let's see if we can't do this the right way a little sneak damage uh-uh back up ow no there we go oh i'm glad i cleared out that general little area over there first i'm backing all the way up here and have these idiots run into me i'm glad i didn't run into those spikes if i bled out because of my own stupidity well that would just be really stupid all right we got some stuff to loot in here that's for sure and then we'll be pretty much done with first floor you took one right in the boob don't run at me do not run at me you don't know me like that all right so we got a few things we could take apart well, we're going to get the books first because that's what I'm most excited about here. Uh, paper. Yeah, that's not exciting at all. We can make some dinamite. Go ahead and use that. Definitely some idiots awake outside this place. I wish there was a way to stop the zombies outside. Mostly just... What is this? Teach you how to craft fitting mod schematic? Alright. That, I'm just going to scrap it because there's no point in getting those right at the moment. I'm not going to deal with it. I know some people are like, oh, but you could have totally done that in here. I know, but I don't want to. What is this? Zooming use 15 levels percent stamina. Well, that's good. We don't have anything we can zoom in on right at the moment. Lots of friggin' paper. Holy cow. We found more paper than anything else. Anyway, I wish there was a way to kind of stop the zombies from spawning outside just for the moment, only because I don't want them to beat a hole in the wall. Let's, uh, I don't want them to, you know, accidentally do it, structural damage to the outside of this place, but it's not really that big a deal. Ooh, we took a little damage there. We leveled up, too. You know what? I should probably use this last... Wait, hold on. Let's do it this way. Let's craft a couple of these. Use them real fast. Keep our health going back up a little bit. I don't want to use the one with first aid, because this one does a whole lot better. Make sure I keep my back covered. Is that everybody? Are y'all freaking done yet? Sweet Jesus. Oh, man, there's a lot of zombies out there. I mean, I'm making a whole lot of noise. I can understand why they'd be showing up and interested in me. And that's not even all of them. That's just fantastic. But you know what we need to do? Go ahead and get that. We get a little bit for that. Let's search these that are already opened. Art of Mining. Harvest 10%. More ores. One buzz from coffee. Well... We may not be doing any mining for a little while. Or ever. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
Okay, let's get inside this one. Oh, a couple books there. Nice. 10% more damage to humans. I'm going to use it, but it's kind of pointless right at the moment. Mo mo motorcycle handlebars. That would be cool. Jeep's chassis. Go ahead and use that. You know what? If I ever get to the point where I can drive a Jeep around inside the mall, then well, that's just going to be cool. I mean, I don't necessarily see it happening. It's going to take a while to get to that point. But who knows? Maybe we'll eventually be able to just drive up and down the stairs in a motorcycle. That would be kind of cool. Magnum Enforcer, last shot in the chamber does double damage. You know, that's going to be fantastic once I get to a spot where I can actually, um, you know, have a gun. Okay, we're just going to nerd pull up here with rebar frames because that's what we have on us. And fortunately, we can pick those up anyway. Food pile! Tim is going to damage at night with bows. Nice. Learn how to make the knife. That could be useful. Hand grenade, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be great. I could make a puffer coat. Wonderful. Ah, screw it. I'll take them. That's not too bad. Buster bunker mod. And more paper. Alright, is there anything else up here that I'm just absolutely missing? I don't think so. There's person in the corner we definitely need to loot more paper look how much freaking paper we have 136 sheets of paper we got a small novel here that you can actually melt that down for sand if you have a forge which we do not so i think that is everything in this little building double check i want to make sure i miss anything and that leaves pretty much everything that was downstairs and i think the stairs are on that side to go up i think they're down that way yeah, they go up that direction. All right, so I'm gonna run over here in our inventory, in our inventory, our little chest over here, and drop a bunch of crap off that we don't need to carry upstairs with this. For the moment, we're gonna call this little place home. It's not secure in any way whatsoever, but it works for now. So let's drop a few things off. Ah, you know, see the point of having these. If I'm, I can go ahead, eh, you know what? I'm just going to scrap them because even if I do complete those, then I'm not going to be able to go turn them in. They have to turn into the trader, and, well, we can't get to a trader. So you know what? One thing I am going to do just to stay safe is I'm going to put my bed down over here in my little hole, my safe place, whatever. It should be able to keep zombies from spawning in this general area, and if I die, then I can respawn over here because I don't want this series to end... On the first friggin' day, if you know what I mean. I, I mean, day two, obviously, but... Anyway, if I die, usually that means the end of the series. But we'll just have to see how it goes, because I don't want the series to end on day two. So if I die super early on or something, I may just say, you know what, screw it, we're going to keep going. Uh, she's taking a nap over there. I'm trying to see if there's, like, any nests I haven't seen in there. Bunch of dudes just taking a nap anything in here there's a bunch of stuff i can take apart in here but i don't really need what's in there just yet y'all can just hang out we're heading up to the second floor but i really need to be able to get my health back up again take a couple of stupid hits and i'm gonna do something tragically bad and die let's see so this one brings it up seven but that's not much i don't want to waste it on there that doesn't bring it up this can raise it up 30 i'm gonna go ahead and use that we got this we can make we can make some more regular bandages but we got to get our major health up first hang on Get this out of the way just in case. Uh, I'm going to put my water down here. If I get caught on fire, I really don't want to burn to death while I'm trying to get to it. So, second floor. We got a western store. Sylvia's Secret. We have to go to Sylvia's Secrets first. This store was created based on, well, me, obviously. I'm the one who kind of started calling the nurses Sylvia's and... That's just fantastic. Plus, there's a bunch of stuff we can chop down here. Get some cloth. There's Sylvia taking a nap. Skater Punk. Let's see if we can't sneak up behind her and get a little sneak damage. Dude, knocked her all the way up on the counter. All right, we're going to scooch back outside, and you can join us out here. Sorry, Sylvia. I hate to do it, but especially in your own store. That's just kind of mean. But you got to do what you got to do. Hey, where'd you go? I'm over here. Ding Dong Knocker doesn't have a lot of durability left in it. Oh, you son of a biscuit. One hit. You hit me one time and made me bleed. Oh, you suck. You suck so bad. 
Oh, that's not cool here. Do I? Have, I do have that. Let me go ahead and repair this real quick, because I'm gonna need it. Okay, we didn't get sneak damage on him. He heard us coming in. Brittany over there is oblivious, which is cool. Don't run at me. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, for a second, I thought it was being a little challenging. Oh, uh, we're waking up the whole store. Uh-uh. Clack. Oh, nice. Come on, something awesome like a minigun. Cash. We can't do anything with cash. We can't get to the trader. <laughs> You're useless. Anything in the garment bag? Uh, we don't really need heat. They don't provide any more armor than what we're already doing. They're better heat, cold heat resist. You know what? I'll wear those. Scrap those. That will allow us to get a little bit of the cloth fiber we have there. Or, oh, I'm sorry. That's just plant fiber. Can't really do a whole lot with this. See? Need other things for that. But let's see if we can get over here and kill these idiots first. We'll get Brittany first since she's standing. I wonder if these... No, oh, no. Guess we're going to go for both of them. All right. Either one of you running? No, Brittany's way faster than you are, Tom. We hit you again just for good measure. Stay down. Stay down. There you go. You jerk. Ooh, football helmet and a skull cap. The football helmet definitely does a lot better... Uh, a lot better armor than what we're currently wearing. Which, if you look at it, it's cowboy hat. It doesn't really do jack scop for armor. Go ahead and wear this. Let me see if we can scrap that. And we can scrap this. It's neither one of those. We're going to have the football helmet on because it's going to provide the best amount of armor. We have our medical pile. Goldenrod flower and chrysanthemum. You know, those could be used for making some decent drinks. I hate to get rid of those just now. Cornmeal. You know who we're hanging on to that for. Agility plus one. Yeah, we'll wear those. And we don't need those either. Ooh, perception plus one instead. And with some more boots, we'll get more of those. Scrap those. Nice. Okay, let's see which one would behoove us the best here. So these give agility plus one. These give perception plus one. And see, under the perception, where is it? Perception stuff, we have a better chance to do dismember with rifles, explosives, and spears, which we are using one of those. Let me see. Agility plus one. 10% more sh or more headshot damage and have a chance to dismember with bows, handguns, and knives. So it would probably behoove us to have the perception on there at the moment since we don't have a bow, a handgun, or a knife. So we should put this on here and we can keep those for later on. Some running shoes. We'll scrap those. Go ahead and take those. I need to make... A bunch. Uh, let's make two bandages real quick while we can. I could use one to start getting... Uh, no, no, they don't do anything with your health, but they'll stop the bleeding if we get hit again. Ooh, lucky goggles. Yeah, we're wearing those. That's way better. Okay, we'll take that. We're going to scrap that and take those. Yeah, lucky looters. Free wood. Free wood's always good. Uh, we'll wear that. It does better than this. And it looks cooler. I'm not going to take that. We got a football helmet. Leather poncho. That's the same as the one we're wearing. I'll go ahead and scrap that. Some BDU bottoms. Hell yeah. That's better than the pants we're wearing. I do like getting BDU. Oops. I already got that one. And I didn't get this one. Ooh, cowboy boots. You know, I need to see, I think, let me back to the wall here just in case. I think the the boots we just picked up, these are just regular. These actually provide a little bit of armor rating, so we'll definitely wear those. Those we can scrap. That we can scrap. I don't know why we have broken glass on us. Free wood. This is great. Okay, we're doing good. I'm going to go ahead and make one more bandage just so we can have it on us. Uh, you know, get rid of that. We're doing all right. Those I know you can break down. I'll make sure there's anything else up there. A little bit of free wood. You know, I'm not certain if you... Eh, you get one piece of wood for beating up a wooden coat hanger. I guess that makes sense. We're not going out that way. All right, so this... We, we took a little bit of damage getting into this store, but it was absolutely worth it. 
Day is moving right along. I'm thinking the first, you know, several videos is going to be us trying to get through the mall and loot as much as possible. Obviously, just like every other possible series is. Pumpkin seeds. If we had a forge, a bigger... I know there's a forge somewhere. I remember seeing it during the walkthrough, but I don't remember exactly where it was at. So, what do we have here? Lots of slot... Wait. Lots of... Oh, that's the... Uh, oh, yeah, that's the... Uh, the coffin store. We definitely need to go search that. But first, we gotta dispatch some zombies. There we go. That was not too painful. <laughs> I say with some jest. What are the odds the whole store emptied out to come check on me? Sweet. Oh, yeah. Look at all these coffins we can search. We're encumbered as hell, and that's fine. Look at these cool little tombstones. Alright, we got a few things we can drop off here that we don't need right at the moment. Because we can't scrap them down anyway. Uh, I don't want to be encumbered as much as possible, so we're, we're just going to use this as temporary storage. Alright, let's search some coffins. Nothing. Oil's not bad. Bullets. Okay, we need a gun to go with it. You know what? Hang on. We got a skill point we need to put here before we do too much more. I was thought I was going to put it into Javelin Master. This will allow me to make a better quality 2 spear and do more damage with it. I need to do that real quick before I forget. Because that would just be great. Iron Spear could be great. We need some forged iron. We're a long ways from that one. So this is definitely what we need to make. And we put all our plant fibers in here. Get those. Now we can make a stone spear. Level 2. Can scrap that one down. There we go. All right, back to it. More bullets, and that is all of the coffins. And we didn't. F we got a metal station down here. See if we can get to it. There we go. Some animal fat and some aloe. Some food. Empty can. And another food pile. All right, so that looks like that oh, we're in. I know we're in cumber here. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and I'll scrap this real quick, and I'll eat this. Does that help out a little bit? Raise the health up a little bit. Let's put you over here. You're good to go. Aloe is going to be great once we get to the point where we can learn the first. Um, yeah. Now this store, this store did okay. We we found some bullets at least. If we could find a gun to with go with it, it'd be even better. All right, so we got a bathroom right there. Women's bathroom, we'll go check that out. I'm going to leave these planted for the moment because we can get the stuff we need to from those without having to destroy the planter. Nice. More lock picks. Let's tiptoe in here, see if there's anybody awake. Hello? Nobody? Nobody we can see? Oh, hey! Freaking look what's up there. Um, nope. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Bad things are happening. Okay. We got a runner. Uh-oh. We're stunned. Oh, sweet Jesus. Go ahead and use this. Get some health back up a little bit. Okay, we took a we took a hit on that one. Oh, that sucked. That definitely sucked. Oh, good lord. Look what's going on over there. You know what? We are not equipped to handle that many. We have nothing ranged weapon at all. We're going to go back this way. Give a chance to kind of disperse some of those. Maybe they'll forget I'm even over here. Absolutely freaking lutely not. Oh, we need to be able to make some freaking feathers, man, because we can't even... Look, we can't make any kind of arrows at all because we don't have any. We can't make any stone arrows because we don't have any feathers. Can't make any iron arrows because we don't have any freaking feathers. We're just... Oh, that's too many zombies to be able to handle. I'm very much low on life. I can't make anything good first aid. I've got food in places. Oh, this isn't cool. All right, uh, let me see. All right, so we need... Eh, I don't like, I do not like this. Are they all going to come this direction? Okay, it looks like some of them have given up the chase. They've kind of wondered. Okay, I know it's kind of cowardice. I realize that. I am not a fan of having to do that sort of thing. But there's too many of them for me to be able to handle without any kind of ranged whatsoever. I can't have make any arrows. If I throw the one spear I have, I'm not going to get it back. And we're down to less than half life, or roughly half life. I am not going to deal with those today. I just, I'm just not going to do it. Well, nope, nope, nope. So what we're going to do 
for the moment is we are going to head back downstairs. We're going to head back to our casa, which should be that direction, other side of the building. Okay, they're upstairs. All right, so y'all can y'all can hiss at me all you want to, but we're not, we're not going to deal with you today. I realize our uh, base is down at that end. I could have come that way as well, but you know what? Screw it. We're going to come back down here, and we're probably going to call this one early. Uh, the last video I know was really really long, and we got a lot of work to do <laughs> as far as getting prepared to be able to handle that kind of a load. And I really need to be able to get my inventory a little bit more built up as is. But I, I mean, I've got a decent amount of cloth now, so I could make a couple of these. I'm just get this right here. Storage pocket mods. I can make one. Well, it's better than absolutely nothing. But let's drop off some crap in here. All right, now we got one extra slot in here. We put the pocket mod over here on our flannel shirt. We're good to go. So we can, I think we can put those onto our BDU bottoms as well. So uh, that should that should be just fine. Dropped off a bunch of crap that's in here. Man, look at that. Hang on, I'm not sure why I'm hanging on to bullets. We don't have any freaking guns to go with them. Look, we got 7.62 and 9mm ammo. That could be great once we get to that point. Um, I do need to go, uh, crap. Again, I don't have a forge. I need to be able to make a forge. I, I need to be able to find the forge, but I think it's upstairs. All right, so, uh, yeah. Let's see, because we need to be able to get back upstairs. That's where we need to go. Ne uh, hold on, we got a few that have woken up over here. All right, might as well just come deal with you. Yeah, let me help you out. None of y'all are runners. All right, let's do it. Okay, they're down. There's a couple more walking around over here. Oh, he's, dude's just trying to get some coffee. I hate to ruin your day, man. I mean, I know I need it as much as you probably do, but... I know you're also trying to go for a snack, and I ain't cool with that. Alright, did y'all wake up anybody else that was in here? Make sure nobody coming towards me. Man, I wish I could find some feathers. I know there's some birds up in, you know, the place we're not going to go to for a little bit, but... <laughs> I'm not going up there. It's in third floor. See, it's like, uh, let me see. There's, there's Glock's World of Cornmeal. So I think that means the cap stupid birds is. I think it actually might be on the second floor. Hell, I can't remember honestly. Been a little bit since I did the walkthrough. I'm gonna do just glance over here real quick. Make sure there's not any feathers laying around. Doesn't look like it. I think those are the trees we originally planted. I think there's only like one zombie. Oh, hey, there's Brittany. Might as well. Oh, no, she's not alone. Okay, we took a, we took a hit there. We backed into that stupid little fountain. Look, uh-uh. No, we don't have the health for this. We do not have the health for this. Uh, this is uh, this is frustrating because I don't want to have to bail, but we don't have the health for this. We need to just get back home. We're going to call it a day. I'm going to work on you know eating some food and getting my health back up. Uh, build a campfire we can start cooking some stuff we can make some red tea i think we have some red tea on us do we not that doesn't help with health at all we're gonna go ahead and drink one real quick i'm sure it's been a while since we've had any but we're gonna get over here we're gonna call it a day i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you're having fun with the series so far because i'm still having a blast with it if you did you know do me a favor and make sure you leave a like on the video of course if you're new here you're not ready consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all the future videos in the meantime i hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one